Hi, I'm Renee, and I clean, declutter, and organize my followers' homes for free. In this episode, I organize and declutter a garage. This is part of a three-part series. You can find part three here. If you haven't watched part one and two, go ahead and go back now. All in, it took three days to completely declutter this home and garage. The trash you see me taking out is left over from decluttering the house. As you can see, it's very dark outside. The homeowner allowed me to start very early. By early, I mean 5 a.m. I actually prefer to work very early in the morning. You also don't usually see me wear a jacket, but it was very cold that morning. So I decided to start with the racks and remove everything off the racks to see what was there. The day before, the homeowner gave me direction on what could stay and what could go. In case you missed part one and two, here's the backstory. I was contacted by a single mom who needed help organizing and decluttering her home and garage. She has two boys. One is dyslexic and the other one is on the spectrum scale for autism. She was overwhelmed with life when she reached out to me. She has ADD and anxiety. The anxiety has been crippling her from cleaning and organizing her home. Let me know if you are enjoying this video by hitting the like button. As I was taking things off the shelf, I was putting like items with like items together and in containers.
Sorry I didn't move the camera. And the cabinets above, they were completely empty. It finally warmed up enough in the garage I could take off my jacket. On these two shelves was items that the homeowner would very rarely use. So I moved everything from the bottom shelf to the top shelf. That was a box of furnace filters that I moved to the top cabinet. I found additional Christmas decorations. Because they were light, I wanted to put them on the top shelf. Later on, I found boxes to the left of this cabinet. What I wanted to put into this cabinet was items that she would use more often than Christmas items. So I put a shop vac and a power washer in the cabinet. The left cabinet was nothing but paint. And there is the Christmas decoration box. I could not figure out how to get this guy in a box. So after several minutes, I decided he will not go in the box. Time to move on to the reindeer. The reindeer was a bit easier. So the lightweight Christmas items went on the top shelf. As I started to put items back onto the shelf, I put them in categories.
so I made a shelf for all pool items. I also thought I was making a chemical shelf, but later on I will move these to another cabinet. I found more paper towels. I combined a lot of the children's items into the containers. And then I thought I had a brilliant idea that this rack could fit into that area. I was wrong. I completely forgot to bring my tape measure with me. I guess it all goes back.
So moving on to the left side of the garage. This was food that I put on the garage steps to take into the house later. I left the Christmas tree box out because the Christmas tree still needed taken down. There was racking in the ceiling where the Christmas tree was stored. I put that tire pump with the shop vac and power washer. This container was too big for all the extension cords, so I used a smaller container to make an extension cord container. And then what was left in this container was Christmas. This container will also go up in the racks in the ceiling. This refrigerator that you see does not work and the homeowner is going to have it removed. So on to the front left side of the garage. In this corner it was nothing but boxes and recycle, so I broke down all the boxes so she could put them out on trash day. I'm so glad I could help this family. So in this cabinet was a lot of tools and chemicals. So instead of pulling everything out, I just moved everything to the lower shelf and then readjusted the shelf. This way she could reach everything without a step ladder to get all of her items. That box I removed was nothing but electronics and cables. I put automotive chemicals on the lower shelf and cleaning chemicals on the upper shelf.
You've watched this video so far, and I'm very lucky to help these families. When you watch this video, you're helping more families declutter and organize their homes. Thank you so much for your help. Time to organize the electronic cables. Are you ready for some before and after pictures? If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with all your friends, hit the notification bell for more videos like this, and don't forget to subscribe. My next video is ready to watch. We'll see you there. Thank you so much for watching.